Hello traders, FS Pipcolette here. Today is Friday, October 6th, and I'm going to be analyzing the pound yen, starting on the monthly, working my way down to that one hour time frame. So on the pound yen monthly, I mean, I still think this looks like a one, two, three, and this wave three may not even be close to being over. I know everybody's talking about how the Bank of Japan is going to intervene, but according to the charts, I don't really, I'm definitely not a believer of that. I think we're still in an uptrend, and I think that this is going to go all the way up to a about the 100% Fibonacci extension of wave A, projected off the bottom of what I think is an ABC of B, right around the 203 area. So let's head down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, I mean, we still haven't taken out any lows, so we're still making higher highs, higher lows. This pattern right here does look like a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And if it is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, normally price would take out that low right there before it went up. So I still wouldn't be surprised if it did do something like this before it actually really does end up continuing the uptrend. So let's take it down to the daily. So on the daily, I mean, it does look like a trend to me. 1, 2, 3, 4, five this move up actually may turn into like a wave b and then it could go down again for a wave c and this would be a wave a and then it would take out this low and then continue the uptrend i think that is probably the most likely scenario but we do have to remember that the weekly and monthly trend is up and this trend very easily could just keep on going especially because i do believe we are in a wave three on the higher time frames so taking it down to the four hour time frame, it definitely is looking pretty impulsive. I have my Fibonacci retracement on here because if it does turn at a Fib level, what's really the last chance now is these two, last two Fib levels. So if it does make an impulsive engulfing move down at a Fib level, I would definitely take that as a sort and for the continuation of the downtrend. But like I said, it seems like the most likely scenario now is that it would actually go up and make some sort of an ABC or B pattern like I was showing on the daily time frame. So let's take it down to the one hour time frame. In one hour time frame, like I said, if it does bounce off one of these fib levels, I will definitely take it as a sort like that. I mean, it definitely still could be an ABC crutch, and so I am prepared to go sort if the opportunity does present itself. Now, I almost think it's actually more likely this could just keep on drifting up, and it's actually a 1, 2, 3 of wave A, which is probably a wave A of wave B on like the 4 hour and the daily time frame. And if that's the case, then we probably do have a pretty decent amount of upside potential. And we do have to remember that t today is the non farm payroll for the dollar and the dollar definitely does get affected by the JPY pairs definitely do get affected by the dollar news because they are risk on risk off currency so we probably will have some pretty good moves today on the JPY pairs so definitely pay attention to that around the non-farm payroll news so don't forget to join my free discord group the link for that is on the screen and in the description thanks and happy trading